Um, oh, on that subject, why don't we talk about um, the Xbox thing? Yeah, why don't we talk about Phil yeah. Spencer's comments this week? According to Chris During of GamesIndustry.biz, sources he spoke to at this year's Games Developer Conference showed a clear lack of confidence in the future of Xbox. Insiders at two companies... Oh, company wait. Sorry. I thought we were talking about Phil Spencer uh, blaming capitalism for uh, for everything that's going on oh, in the games industry. Yeah, that's a fun one. Because that was... No matter... Look. No matter what side of... You know, is capitalism good or is capitalism bad or you know or whatever, whatever. Microsoft blaming capitalism it, is it, it doesn't genuinely matter. hilarious. Yes. <laughs> the the irony is dripping off of this entire situation. While they try to like gobble up everything in the AI industry so they can own it all. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent here for it. Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty great. Okay, sorry, go um, ahead. Um Anyways, yeah, insiders at two companies told him that Xbox's performance in Europe is flatlining and many European retailers are cutting back on Xbox stocks, uh, Xbox stock, not stocks, in response to a significant slump in sales. Publishers, likewise, are apparently reconsidering supporting the platform. During likewise suggests Dring. that if these trends, sorry? Dring. Dring, there's no... Yeah, my eyes suck. The guy's I, th name. I thought there was another I before Chris the R. Dring. Dring. Sorry, Dring. Um, likewise, suggests that if these trends continue, we may see a majority of Xbox games also coming to PS5. Phil Spencer has acknowledged that the console market is gradually shrinking, even as gaming is growing as an industry. See, that's a funny thing. Can I pause for a second here? Yeah. PC sales, shrinking. Console sales, shrinking. Game industry growing. Game industry growing. Mobile phones. Also mobile shrinking. Phones. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like Apple's like, are we going to sell iPhones? More iPhones I right think now. the market's kind of saturated. So basically, this, and no one has to, I think this pursuit the, of constant growth is not sustainable. <laughs> Phil? Are you? <laughs> are you are you I, in I there just, like became phil i yeah it's it's uh, I, I think we're at a market saturation point for a lot of this stuff i think no one has to replace pcs yeah. no one has to replace phones and no one really wants to replace consoles yeah and honestly they look pretty darn good you probably don't really need to anyways yeah what are you really gonna gain at this point from a new generation of consoles uh for sure something 4k but do you want to spend eight hundred dollars on it Nine hundred dollars on it. Uh, that. Uh, six k. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Anyways, um, yeah, Phil Spencer, yeah, Phil Spencer has acknowledged that the console market is gradually shrinking, even as gaming industry is growing, because gamers are more increasingly attracted to handheld and PC options. Spencer even floated the idea of bringing third-party stores to the Xbox to make it more like a PC or exploring different hardware form factors, which many have speculated might be an allusion to a future Xbox handheld. Further, Windows Central's Jez Corden has claimed that Microsoft has an existing prototype for just such a handheld, which would make sense. Can I just say honestly, that, like... it wouldn't be hard to do. This is... Pretty much what I've been predicting for a really long time. Like, you get to do the whole thing where you're right about stuff many, many years in advance all the time. You know what? It's my turn. It's, your turn it's my time to shine here because as soon as they went x86, I was like, okay, they're computers now. Yeah. This is a matter of time. It, it, I think we're finally getting there. And can I just say, Microsoft, if anyone's watching... Can you just rip off the Band-Aid now? Yeah, can I think just, that's been the whole problem. Because you, you've been right. Like, they could have done this pivot even faster, but they wanted to move to the platform and then not embrace it. They keep... And they, now they're sort of embracing look, it. Look, they keep half-assing it. You know, it yeah. keeps... Okay, games for Windows Live, and we're going to... No, no, we're, like, really going to focus on we're PC We're doing it gaming. this time, guys. And, and, and we're... And, like, with this new DirectX... The game folder's we're doing, gone. And the... That like they they keep oh yeah we're gonna we're doing cross play we're doing cross play we're do just do it J just rip it off be a PC company do it and keep making hardware keep making super affordable PCs 
But yeah, hey, sure. maybe the Xbox would be more competitive if your everything does everything appliance actually f***ing did everything. Like, oh, I don't know, a fucking computer. What if Xbox became a certification? Like, remember when they were trying so hard to build the Xbox that, you know, d what took over was, was like the center of your living room. And then remember when, like, just prior to that, they had tried to do media center piece. Hello, can the right hand just talk to the left hand? <laughs> and you could have done it. Yeah. What? Remember when people were hacking the Kinect to hook it up to PCs and doing all kinds of really cool stuff with it? Way cooler than anything that existed on the Xbox. Would have been nice. Just do it. Embrace. Embrace. Does anyone remember that meme? Embrace these do windows. It. Thank you. Thanks, Shia. Um, <laughs> embrace these handhelds because otherwise, th this is actually a threat right now. This is your chance, Microsoft. This is, don't ignore the Steam Deck. This is your chance. And Xbox going it alone is not the way to go. Windows already has the momentum. Just turn the Xbox into a store, into a certification into a, a realistically a game development monopoly um, because yeah. that's I, I just I don't think I don't think the hardware makes sense anymore and I'm not saying that consoles are going anywhere I don't think Nintendo is going to be done making consoles in the next decade or two like no. the, they are they are they are just the kings of this is our this is my ball and this is where I play with it here in my walled garden. And if you like it, then you yeah. can come inside and play with me. And if you don't like it, then you can fuck off. That's you think, you think they're more the kings of that than Apple? Uh oh yeah, I think so. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Apple Apple they contributes. Did, they did put like Mario Run out and stuff like that. Yeah, but Apple contributes in a big way to industry standards. In a oh, way that I don't think that I'm argument. necessarily convinced that Nintendo does. That's a pretty good argument. And, and I'm not saying Nintendo doesn't do anything in that regard, uh, but Apple, you got to remember, like for all the for all the whining that we've done about how how long it's taken Apple to support USB C. Apple shipped the first computer with a USB C port on it. <laughs> they freaking co-invented the standard. Yeah. Like, come on! Yeah. That's what drives me so crazy about Apple is how capable they are of innovation. Yeah. And how they just choose to do it in ways that are just so... Ah! There's a really good question in here, uh, which is why doesn't Xbox already have a handheld? Um, Honestly, I think that's quite fair. Well, you can only do so much, though. Like, something that's easy to forget, I think, is that Microsoft is a relative newcomer to the console game. Right. So the, 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 handheld, the first handheld boom, right, was the Game Boy. The Game Gear failed. Um, like it has I, been 23 years, though. It's been, sure, sure, but like... The handheld boom that, that happened, like the first one, they were not a participant. Then I would say sort of Are you your next... Like Game Boy era? Is yeah. That what you're talking about? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. The first one. And then Nintendo kind of was... I mean, they, realistically, like they were kind of half arson it for a long time. Well, they were the only one. I so forget. Hold on. Game Boy <laughs> uh, release date. I guarantee you this will surprise you a little bit, okay? April 1989. And the second generation of game boy was just the game boy color it it just played game boy games um 1998 late 1998 it was nine and a half years for them to go from the game boy to the game boy color that actually does surprise me that's actually pretty wild. which got colorized games but the graphics still sucked like it was it was sure it was better but it was not um it was not the kind of generational improvement that you might expect in nine and a half years these days. Um and then Nintendo has kind of like done its own thing in its own completely closed off garden. Sega failed to compete. Sony had one 
moderate success with the PSP and then just tanked it with the Vita. Like, it was backlit? It was not backlit. Game Boy Color was not backlit. I know, yeah, Game Boy Color was backlit. No. I think so. No. Hold on. Game Boy Color backlight, screen replacement kit. The thing that you can buy to make it a backlit. Oh, no, yeah, screen. you're right. Not backlit. It is not back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, it like it like wasn't that much better. I yeah, I, f I forgot about that part even. Yeah, um, yeah, because you used to have like, do you remember the monstrosities that yeah, people would the front build? Lights, the front lights, the magnetizers, the speakers. Yep. Like people used to have crazy accessories for Game Boy colors. It was actually wild. Yeah, you had like a whole case. I have one of the original like Game Gear cases with a whole bunch of like, oh, accessories. Oh, that's kind of sick actually. Uh, yeah, the Game Boy Advance. Was the was the first um, Nintendo handheld with an integrated backlight? So uh, GBA release date. Here we go. So that wouldn't be until June of two thousand one. So basically, it, hold on. The first Game Boy Advance had a backlight. Are you sure? Mm, that I actually don't know. I, I think that it was one the I'm, SP. Oh. The like weirder looking advanced. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. The yeah, SP. So I don't think that one. It's like the it's like the the flippy one. No, it wasn't until two thousand five that the SP got a backlight. It was a revised SP. So, so yeah, it wasn't even right. the first. So SP. from nineteen eighty nine to two thousand five, wow. sixteen years just to get a backlit screen. It wasn't moving that fast. Um, anyway, my point is that who was Microsoft supposed to look at and go, yeah, this is. This a great is idea. this is a great idea for us to pursue because remember having a mobile console is not like having a mobile version of your console. It is a completely separate platform that requires completely separate game development. Like games used to come out for the Genesis and for the Game Gear. Like you can buy Aladdin for the Genesis and buy Aladdin for the Game Gear. Those are completely different games. 100% different games, different assets, different levels, different absolutely everything. And so for Microsoft to to split their forces and be battling on two fronts might not have made sense when they're looking at basically everyone else and everything else that has existed in the space and going, okay, is the total addressable market for this actually so big that it makes sense for us to get involved in this? And I think that now, now that it's just a PC and it runs all the same titles, well, all of a sudden, okay, now that, that does make sense because we don't have to develop completely new games for this. And in fact, <laughs> thank you, Nintendo, a lot of really mobile-friendly, controller-friendly games since 1989 have been developed that people who, you know, wear eye patches can enjoy on our PC. Yeah. And that's... That doesn't have to be official, but if it's a PC, oh, I don't know, whatever. And people are running whatever software they want. I don't know. So, no, I think it's a, I think it's a really good time, but I think that they need to just embrace the Windowsness of it and just make Windows really good at this because that's all the original Xbox was, damn it, is it was a Windows that was and really like, good at running games. Invest some more developer power into Windows Store and, like, Xbox Store or whatever. That's a hot I don't know take. if they're different. Well, because it's so You want so more bad. Windows Store. Yeah, actually. Interesting. Okay. I want it to be better. That's that's my frustration. Is like when they're forcing it into things. Like I, I wanted to download uh, GIMP last night. If you don't know what that is, uh, <laughs> it's called something else now. No, it's not. Well, it is, and it's well. Okay, they they're a little less. Oh wow! I went to I I actually also downloaded this recently, and um, it was GNU Image Manipulation Program. And I only saw the GIMP name later. Oh. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah, no, it's front and center on the site. I didn't go to the site because I, um, I was installing it on Linux. Oh, we've got a really fun video coming. Uh, that's like my thing this show is teasing really all the is. really good videos we have yeah. coming. Uh, I tried, uh, the team got together 10 weird Linux distros for me to try. Oh, that's actually pretty fun. Yeah. Temple OS? Uh, no, te that's not Linux. Oh yeah, no. That's Temple a good OS point. is Temple OS. That's good. It should just put it in as like a. I think what you're referring to as Temple OS is in fact, um, Temple Kernel with. Okay, I don't know. I can't even <laughs> forget it. <laughs> um. Anyways, I was downloading that and I didn't know if I had it or not already. 
fairly recently got that new computer, so like I might not have certain programs that I would normally have. So I just typed, pressed start, and typed it just to see if it would show up. Oh, no. And what showed up was the Windows Store link for it. Oh. Okay. And I would like to actually just be like, yeah, cool. But I don't trust it because Windows Store has always been a piece of junk. Oh, my God. So, so I went and downloaded it manually anyways. Did you see the... Um, did you see the subreddit want to be wanted me to use Bing for a month? Oh. I was considering it until I accidentally did a Bing search for something earlier this week because... Uh, Can't be that much worse than we, where Google's at these days. Um, get ready to be surprised. Okay. <laughs> because we needed, we needed some pictures of Elijah for some reason. Okay. And he was like, oh, okay, let me transfer them from my phone to... And I'm like, dude. You're a celebrity at this you. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How hard could it be to find a picture of Elijah online? No, 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 no. I'll, don't worry, I got no, you. No, I want to show comparison. No, no, I've got them both. Oh, okay. Okay. So I was like, okay, we'll type your name. And then just to make it easy, I'll put my name. Sure. Because that works really well from, from my previous experience. Finding someone who works at Linus Tech Tips with the name whatever it is that you type. So, oh, bloody hell. Uh, images. Huh. This is Bing. So some RG rig reboot thing. Whatever this is, whatever this is, um, me, because apparently the first thing I typed is not important. Uh, yeah, that. Um, we make our way into Peanuts. Nuts. Uh, we've got shirtless me. Nice. We've got some other LTT staff. Nice. Nice. Seriously, not a single bloody picture of someone named Elijah who's associated with someone named Linus. Okay? Not a one. Now, for a live demonstration of why what I typed in is not entirely <sighs> stupid. <laughs> Elijah Horner, Linus Media, Elijah, 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 Elijah. His face doesn't even show in this one. Yeah, really. Elijah, r slash Linus. Does Bing even index Reddit? Like, what are you guys even doing? Wild. Utterly unusable. Absolutely wild. Actually unusable. That's unfortunate. You know what's funny is yeah. if you go back to the text search, just the search, his Wikipedia page comes up or whatever. His, LinkedIn, his LinkedIn page. LinkedIn page. There it is. That's not Elijah. But uh, it's the R team page. But it's the R team page, which is which okay. he's going to be on. Yeah. So hold on. So the, if you don't image search it, it actually gives you images better. <laughs> yes. So we managed to find the first two results are actually Elijah. Yeah. Uh, okay, who is Linus Media Group? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 got it, got it. We know about Linus Media. Elijah. Elijah, okay. Picture, maybe? Picture. Yeah, so if, if it just like <laughs> used the normal search uh, algos more or something, I don't know. I don't know. And grab some images off of the pages they served up yeah. to us. Yeah, like it's we've done a better job. It's embarrassingly bad. It is inconceivably bad. How is it even possible for that to be that bad? That's pretty frustrating. It's worse than it is. I've like... Like it, it knows and it just is like... I've just like ended up on Bing a couple times and the search has actually been fairly okay. And the search right there was actually fairly okay, but I've never used the images portion. And that was, that was garbage. Yeah, it's terrible. Actual, actual garbage. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to, you know, expect to... to uh, you know, AIs to friggin' make appointments for me. And like, <sighs> sure. <clears throat> uh, oh boy. Um, Qualcomm. Yeah. Oh, we should probably do sponsors. Hey, Dan. Oh, D Dan was gonna tell us to do sponsors. He's on it, dude. He's on it. Um. Yeah, that was a pretty intense merch message surge. I think he's got it more under control now. As soon as I was like pins, they were like, no, 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 oh, no, no, I will eat all the pins. Give me the pins. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. If you must eat the pins, please put the covers on the sharp part first. 
won't really do much for you. It might save your throat. Yeah. Uh, it'll be better than if you didn't. That's true. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, let's, let's, do, let, let's do it, Dan.